All right, boys, we are back, and it's time for the Stanley Cup Finals. That's right, with our Washington Capitals, we finally made it to the finals. It only took us three years. This is our third year, all right? And uh, we got the Columbus Blue Jackets in the final, a team that I did not expect to be this far. But you know what? They actually have a pretty good record. 45 regulation wins, 8 overtime losses, 98 points. Pretty good season. They picked up Phil Kessel in the offseason, all right? And we are in year three. You never know. They may have a good team. So, um, you know, now that we've made it this far, we've taken that extra step. I want to take the final step. I don't want to lose here in the finals. That would almost be more embarrassing than last year. It wouldn't be, but uh, more demoralizing, all right? We can win this. This is definitely our year, all right? So we'll take a look at our lines after. We'll take a look at the Columbus Blue Jackets lineup first, all right? And, um... Okay, so it's actually not that bad. RJ Umberger, Derek Broussard, and Phil the Thrill on the first line. RJ, he could be a first liner, 85 overall, he might, but uh, he'd be a perfect second liner. But I'm not saying that he won't be good or anything. Still 85 overall, two way forward, all right? Derek Broussard, 84 overall playmaker. He probably has really good offensive categories, so uh, decent again. He would be a perfect second liner, but again, still, it's decent. And then you got Phil the Thrill on the right wing, all right? And nothing could be said about Phil the Thrill. 89 overall, Sniper, this guy's going to be scoring some goals, all right? And he's going to make Broussard and Umberger better. So it's actually a pretty good first line with Phil the Thrill there. He he brings up Broussard and Umberger, all right? The second line, you got Nick Foligno, Brendan Dubinsky, and uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name, Poitz. Poise T, Poise, I don't even know. Uh, they must have an injury there because an 80 overall grinder is the right wing. I'm sure they could do something better than that. Uh, Felino and Dubinsky are perfect second liners, but uh, uh, the right wing is pretty weak there. Third line, and it looks like they really start to get weak here. Uh, Marinoff or Mayorov, Mayorov, 76, uh, Johansson, 77, and Kubalik, 78. That's a really weak third line. And then the fourth line, uh, Matt Latestu, uh, Gillis, and uh, Jack Mavs, Jackie Mavs. Again, a pretty weak fourth line as well so uh they don't really have any depth when it comes to their third and fourth line their first two lines aren't bad I'm guessing they have a few forwards injured because how the hell do they make it this far with just having five four decent forwards and one superstar you know the rest being ham and eggers um yeah, so offensively, we have them covered. Still got to watch out for Phil, but we got them covered. Defensively, Jack Johnson, 87, and Wisniewski, 86. All right, it's a decent first line, all right, but ours is better. They're both offensive defensemen, so, you know, watch out for their power play because they're going to have Johnson, Wisniewski, and Phil the Thrill out there, all right? That's going to be a dirty power play. Um... It's not bad, but ours is better. Second line, you got Tootin and uh, Niskanen, 85 and an 84. That's decent. It's pretty similar to Alsner and uh, Carlson, so I won't compare too much. Both two-way defensemen. And the third line, Germain and Savard. Uh, you could actually say that their third line is better than ours with the injury to Schultz because we have Hillen back there. So defensively, they're actually not that bad. You know what? They may be a defensive team because, look, their defensemen are not, not, not that bad even though they have two offensive defensemen. And remember when we were talking about their uh, offensive players like Umberger, Dubinsky, Felino? They're all two-way forwards. So maybe offensively they can keep the puck out of the net still. This may be a hard series to score some goals. But what does it come down to? All right, you know what? Goaltending, it's not that bad. They got Bob Bobrovsky and uh, Mason, both 83 overall. So I could see these guys being a team that keeps the puck out of the net and then scores goals on the power play with Phil the Thrill and their two defense uh, offensive defensemen. All right, so it's not like a, a, an amazing team. I'm not blown away here, but I could see why they've gotten this far. All right, we've had goalies in the past, 84, 83 overall, that have done it outstanding for us as well, okay? So can't really complain. Uh, now, if you look at our lineup, it's the same, just uh, the injuries to Paul Stashny and uh, Schultz. All right, we still have Antoine Vermette as our second line center. But you see what I mean about how we have them covered um, on the first and the second line, you know, the third line, and the fourth line is pretty similar. Defensively, you know, our first line, it's a tad bit better, but at least my defensemen are two-way and defensive defensemen. I'd rather that than having two offensive defensemen, all right? Um, third line, I'd say they have us covered, but how much is the third line going to be out there? And then goalies, hopefully Klein. And hopefully, if we need him, can uh, uh, play better than Mason and Bobrovsky, all right? Or Bob Bobrovsky. Yes, I always get that name wrong. I always put the R first, all right? Uh, okay, so there you go. Let's check out the injuries for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I, they have to have an injury. They have to. Their second lot, like their... Uh, I'm not going to say they shouldn't have made it this far with that team, but um, I'm just... I'm. I'm betting that they have an injury to a forward, a second line forward or something, all right? Columbus. 
Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Cam Atkinson, and, uh, an EC Moff, Globef, and uh, Ryan Murray as well. All right. So that is, they have three huge injuries. They have a defenseman. They would have a really good defensive core, actually. I take that back. Their defensive core would be a lot better than ours. Um, uh, well, maybe not the first two, but uh, our third line for sure. Ryan Murray, he's gone until June 9th, so he might not make it back in time. Uh, May 26th, Glaubef, he'll make it back. Uh, Anisimov, June 4th, he may make it back. And uh, Atkinson, July 4th, he won't make it back. So that's a lot of players, because Atkinson, I'd say, is a second liner by now. Anisimov, you know what? Because this is the Stanley Cup Finals, let's just, uh, let's just check it out. So June, right? It's way up here, so they're not getting their guys back. That's good. That's good for us. But they're missing a lot of players here. Thank God. The injury bug seems to be on our team this time. Uh, let's go to contracts. I just want to show you guys. because I, I, I kind of want to see myself. But I know Atkinson is probably good. And Anisimov would fill out that second line with Felino and Dubinsky quite nicely. All right. So they're missing some forwards here. Let's see. Forwards. Uh, Anisimov is 84 overall. You see what I mean? That's big. And Atkinson is 82 overall. So, you know, you'd have an 80 overall on your third line if they had these guys. Uh, so, yeah, that is big. That is big for them. They're missing two big players there. And uh, Murray is an 81 overall, and Glaubeff is an 82 overall. All right, so they have two defensemen that can come up. Um, pretty decent, though, compared to Savard and Germain, but still. All right, so um, they're not getting those forwards back, so we're in pretty good shape, but we're not getting our forwards back either. But I think those injuries hurt them a lot more than our injuries are hurting us. All right, so here we go. Stanley Cup Finals against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Our first line has been the story of our playoff run. Same with uh, Norbert Klein. Can they continue? Can Klein continue, all right? Their leading goal scorers fill the thrill with 12, uh, 12 goals, all right? So... Come on now, boys. Just keep fill the thrill off the board, and we should be able to keep this series, all right? Or take this series. So here we go. Game one, we have home ice advantage. Here we go. The fans are going crazy. First period. All right, all right. Not a great start, but not a horrible start. 0-0. Zero, zero. What did I say? These guys may be a tough team to score goals on. All those two-way forwards. And if uh, Bobrovsky and uh, Mason play good, man, it could be tough. But come on now. Here we go. Second period. All right, 0-0 zero, zero still. All right, at least Norbert Klein is playing good still. All right, but we cannot score goals. Who's going to be the hero here in the game uh, in the third period? Come on now. This is a big game. I want to get off to a lead. Power play. There it is. John Carlson on the power play. There you go. And they got Bob. Uh, I'm not even going to try and say his name. I keep messing it up. Yes, House. What the hell? Fourth liner. There you go. That's a 2-0 lead. That's perfect for Norbert Klein. Who gets... Oh, and Jack Hillen. Look at that. We got some depth goal scoring there. John Carlson, fair enough. But Howes and Hillen? Hell yeah. But the two guys that I brought up to replace um, Schultz and Stashny. <laughs> Very nicely done. And look at that. Norbert Klein's first game in a Stanley Cup Finals. He gets a 33-shot shutout. Thank you, Norbert Klein. All right? And we kept uh, Phil the Thrill off the board. That's what we have to do. If we're going to have any chance, we just need to keep their uh, top goal scorer off there. Because other than that, you know, they had a few offensive defensemen. Fine. Pavel Datsu, two assists. All right. Good job. So our first line still chipped in. Um, even though they still have some, uh, what's that called? Some two-way forwards and such. Oh, no. I've, never mind. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, okay. So we won the first game 3 to nothing. Any injuries? Let's see. Any injuries? No, we're good for injuries. Thank God. All right. So let's just keep it going here, boys. Keep it going. That was a great first game. We played perfect. All right. Maybe defense help out your goalie a little bit more. Don't allow more than 30 shots, but still not going to complain. All right. Here we go. First period of game two. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. They're going to come back strong, all right? They're a good team. Letestu and Dubinsky both solve Norbert Klein in the first period. Don't worry about it, Klein. Don't worry about it. Here we go now. Second period. Oh, they got a third. Wisniewski on the power play. What did I say about their power play? All right, Wisniewski, offensive defenseman. So, I mean, a three-goal third period, that's going to be tough. I really don't see it happening for us. All right, but don't worry about it, boys. Don't worry about it. All right, there's a 4 nothing. Uh, tooting on the power play. Yep, don't worry about it. Let them embarrass us. Uh, we're just going to come back flying in game three. That's fine. All right, all right, all right. So the Columbus Blue Jackets deal with the Washington Capitals four to nothing in game two. So both teams have had a shutout so far. All right, and look at that. They had 33 shots again. We had 32. And uh, Bob Rossi, yes, got a shutout. Or was it Mason? Mason went in. All right, Mason had this shutout. All right, so pretty good. We got a battle here. We definitely have a battle. We have a good battle too. Um, Schultz, no, no, both my guys aren't coming back either, so we got to deal with it. Uh, yeah, no injuries, all right, so I'm going to keep the lineup the same right now. Uh, it was still a good game, we still had a lot of shots, again, it was just, 
Remember what I said, an 83 overall goalie, he can get it done. So, come on, first line. You've had two games now where you really haven't scored many goals. You've had a few assists, Datsuk, but I need you guys to get some goals now in game three, all right? No more excuses. Here we go. First period. All right, there you go. Uh, Gillis. Oh, no, that was them. God damn it. Oh, my God. I still thought we were the home team on the right. That was them, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Damn it. <laughs> all right, don't worry about it. It's only a one-goal lead. Come on, boys. We can come back from this. Second period. All right, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, first line. Pavel Datsuk, Backstrom, and Jake Gardner. All first liners, all right? That's what I'm talking about. That's why we pay, uh, pay you guys the big bucks, all right? Now, Norbert Klein, you got a two-goal lead in the third period. You got that routine. We need you, Norbert Klein. We need you now, man. You've got to become an elite goalie. We need you. This is what an elite goalie does. He wins the game for his team. Come on, Norbert Klein. Come on, Norberts. Five minutes left. You got this. Yes. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. One goal. Gillis has got two, please. Please. Okay, thank God. Woo! Had a bit of a scare there, but it doesn't matter because Norbert Klein, he, he shut the door, all right? It was fine. It was perfectly fine. Thank God. All right, so we're up 2-1 to one in this series. We can smell it, boys. We can smell it. That's right. We can't be getting too ahead of ourselves here, but, man, we can touch it almost. Pavel Datsuk, three points. Nicholas Backstrom, three points. Ovechkin maybe had uh, an assist or two, all right? But that's fine. We're getting points. And look, Derek Broussard has been injured for the next three weeks, so they lost their first-line center now. All right, so they have three 80 overall forwards that they're missing. Oh, my God. The injury bug is really biting the Columbus Blue Jackets. Boys, man, this is our finals, all right? This is just, like, it's 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 perfect for us. They have all these injuries. Come on, man. This is the year that we get it done. Here we go now. Game four. Come on now, boys. We can take this and go up in the series three to one. Take a stranglehold around this, all right? Come on now. This is a big game. First period. All right, 0-0. Zero, zero. Not the greatest, but again, I'm not, uh, I'm not angry at it either. Come on now, boys. Second period. We need a good second period. Come on, Ovechkin. You're the captain. You haven't had a goal yet in this series. I need you. Second period. All right, there we go. We got two. Johansson and Vermette. Antoine Vermette finally does something there on the second line. All right, thank God. All right, Klein, once again, you got the routine, man. If we can win this game, we'll be up 3-1 to one in this series, Klein. Come on, buddy. This is all you. Norbert Klein, I need you again, man. I need you again. I will give you a big fat contract when your contract comes up if you can get this. Come on, K Norbert Klein. Come on, five minutes left again. Come on, Norbert. Come on. Yes, another shutout for Norbert Klein. His second shutout in the Stanley Cup Finals. Hell yeah, Norbert. 30 shots on net, and he gets us a shutout. We are up 3-1 to one in this series, boys. The Washington Capitals are up 3-1 to one in this series. Oh, my God, and we're going back home. And we're going back home for Game 5, all right? <laughs> Johansson actually had a goal, thank God. He had the game winner, I think. All right, so let's see if any more injuries. No, no more injuries. All right, so far, Phil Kessel has not scored a single goal. He's had some assists, but we've kept him off the goal scoring sheet, all right? So that's been good. So we're up 3-1 to one in the series. Here it is, boys. I'm not even going to say anything to you, all right? You know what you got to do here. Ovechkin, this is the most important game you've ever played in your life, all right? You haven't had a goal this series so far, but it doesn't matter. We're still winning. I know you're playing like a captain should. It's time for you to step it up now, all right? We're going to do a regular simulation here because the cup is on the line. Come on, boys. First period. Power play for them. Good job. Kill that off. Another power play for them. What are you guys doing? Another one. Third of the period. What are you guys doing? It's a major. Holy shit. Double minor, I mean. Come on, boys. You can't, oh, fourth in a row. There you go. Now we got a power play. Ah, oh, Matt Letestu gets a goal in the second period. All right, don't worry about it, boys. It's only a one nothing, one nothing lead. Penalty kill again. That's like our fifth or sixth penalty. Boys, what are you doing? Third period. Come on, we need a goal. Power play. Oh, my God. Penalty kill. Power play. Oh, penalty kill. Oh, my God. Now we have a power play. How many penalties are we going to take this game? Oh, we got one. All right, how? Seven minutes left. We can still tie it up. Come on, somebody tie it up. I want to win this at home. Come on. Oh, my God. All right, so they had a good goaltending performance that time as well. Only one goal on 24 shots for us. Norbert Klein played amazing. Two goals against on 40 shots, but just could not get any goals. Just could not score any freaking goals, all right? So that was a, that's a disappointing game right there because now they got momentum going back home. You know what I mean? If they can win game six, anything can happen in a game seven. So we're backing ourselves up into a corner here. Norbert Klein played amazing, but Ovechkin, man, I called you out that game and nothing. Just you haven't scored a goal this whole series, man. What's going on? I can't even tell if you had any assists either. You haven't had a star. So 
Now, I'm not going to change up the lines or do anything crazy, but uh, boys, I mean, I don't care if we have to win it on the road. We do not want to let them get to a Game 7, because anything can freaking happen in a Game 7, all right? We were up 3-1 to one in this series. Let's end this in Columbus right now. Ovechkin, I'm calling you out, man. You haven't had a goal in five games. It's Game 6 now. Ovechkin, we need you, and we need you early in the first or second period, all right? Not in the third. So here we go again. Regular simulation. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Brandon Dubinsky gets a quick one. Oh, my God. Globef gets another quick one. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. He answered back. Manny Malhotra. All right. Still a game. It's not going to be a blowout just yet. Come on. We could use one more to tie up the game just to make it as, uh, back to square one, basically. Okay. Never mind. All right. Come on. Second period. Come on. Penalty kill again. Stop taking penalties. There you go. Power play for Louis Erickson. And we got the game tied. Oh, there's another one. Same power play. Antoine Vermette. All right. It's almost the end of the second period. Just get out of the second with the lead. Get out of the second with the lead. All right, here we go, boys. We got the one goal lead going into the third period of game six of the Stanley Cup Finals. We are up three to two in the series, all right? The Stanley Cup is in the building. Alexander Ovechkin, we need a support goal, all right? We need a support, and then we need a dagger, all right? We cannot trust Norbert Klein to get us the win here. He's already gotten us this far. We got to give him a break. Offense, I'm calling on you. You've already scored three goals for us this game. I want five. I want five, all right? So here we go. Here we go. Come on, boys. Most important period. Come on, boys. Penalty kill. Good job. Ten minutes left. We need a support goal for Klein. Come on. Five. Oh, I knew it's Nick Foligno. He ties it up. We couldn't get that support. Oh, we're going into overtime. Oh, no. We're in overtime. We need to win. We cannot go to game seven. Penalty kill. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Brandon Dubinsky. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good at all. This is not good at all. Brendan Dubinsky tied up the game in the third period. Oh, no, it was Nick Foligno. Sorry. Nick Foligno tied up the game with four minutes left. And then Dubinsky scores in overtime. What did I say? We needed that support goal. Norbert Klein played good. 37 shots against four goals. He took us to overtime. Oh, we just... Oh, my goodness gracious. This is not happening. This is not freaking happening, man. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right, so they've pushed us back. They've done what they've wanted to do, all right? They've had a successful year as well. They pushed us all the way back to game seven. All right, boys. I mean, we had a three to one lead going back to Washington. We could have won it in game five. We lost two to one. Could have won it in game six. We lost four to three. All right, we're going back to game seven right now. This is going to be so freaking embarrassing if we get, if we concede a three to one freaking lead in the finals with all the injuries that they have on their team. All right, look at their freaking team. I'm gonna go to edit lines. I got to show you this right now. Ed, uh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, view lines. Sorry. View lines for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Look at what their team is. And look how in shambles it is right now. Look. Oh, no. Anisimov came back. That's why. Anisimov came back and replaced Broussard, basically. So they're basically the same te uh, team. Ba yeah. Imagine if they had Atkinson and Broussard still. Okay, so Anisimov came back. Ouch. I didn't know about that. All right. So we got game seven here. Should I put in Holpe? No, I can't do it. Klein's got us this far. I got to run with Klein, all right? So Ovechkin, I'm calling you out right now, son. Ovechkin, you have not scored a goal since the Carolina series, all right? You've gotten six games without a goal. It's game seven. It's the Stanley Cup finals, right? You have not won a Stanley Cup yet. This is what you can directly influence your future, your destiny right now, if you just play good, all right, Ovechkin? I need goals. I need goals, Ovechkin, all right? So here we go. Game seven. Oh, my. Oh my god. Oh, I'm shaking. Here we go now. Okay, uh, we're going to do a time four. Yeah, we'll slow it down a little bit. 30 seconds at a time. All right, come on, boys. Power play. Let's go. I need a power play goal. There you go, Alexander Ovechkin on the freaking power play. He listened. Penalty kill. Come on, boys. We need a good penalty kill. There you go. Another penalty kill. Stop taking penalties, you idiots. What the hell? Come on now. Come on now. Let's get out of this period with the lead. Let's get out. Oh, no. Another penalty. What the hell are you guys doing? Come on. Second period. All right, we made it to the second period. Come on, we need some more shots on net. There you go, Jake freaking Gardner. Yeah. Oh, Ovechkin gets the second goal. Yes. They changed goalies. Oh, no, they didn't. Never mind. Bob is still in there. But oh, Ovi's got two. Come on. Let's get out of this second period with a three goal lead, please. Please. Oh, the fourth goal for Backstrom on the power play. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. power play again. Come on, boys. Just get out of this lead. Get out of this period with the lead. 
Come on, hang on. Come on, come on. Yes! All right. All right. Our first line definitely stepped up this game. Alexander Ovechkin, two goals. Backstrom, one goal. And Jake Gardner, one goal. All right? So here we go. Norbert Klein, you got a four-goal lead in the third period, all right? There is no excuse why we can't win the Stanley Cup on home ice in Game 7. All right? So here we go. Ovi, it'd be nice for you to get the hat trick, but we don't need any more goals. Just don't let them get four, please. All right? You can allow them to get one. Allow them to get two. All right? Three is pushing it, but four. Come on. You can't allow them to get four. Come on, boys. Play for Washington. Power play for us. Oh, it's a good one. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. 12 minutes left. Just kill time. 10 minutes left. Good, you killed half the period. Another power play for us. All right, couldn't score. It's coming down to the wire, though, boys. Five, five minutes left. Four, three. We've got it. Two, one. Yeah! Washington! The Washington Capitals win the Stanley Cup in Game 7. Oh, ho, ho. it was a nail-biter. It was a close one. And Norbert Klein gets another shutout, all right? He had three shutouts in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, my goodness gracious. Three of our four wins were shutouts. Thank you, Norbert Klein. And Alexander Ovechkin. All right, I called him out. I said he hadn't done anything in the six games. What does he do? In a Game 7, he gets two goals and an assist. Three freaking points, man. Norbert Klein gets a shutout, and Nick Backstrom gets three points as well. So thank you, first line. Oh, my goodness gracious. And there you go. The Washington Capitals defeated the Columbus Blue Jackets in seven games to win the Stanley Cup. And Phil the Thrill Kessel didn't get a single goal. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's what I'm talking about. So let's end this. Let's check out uh, the player stats. Oh, 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 that's for the season. Oh, Player stats for the playoffs, and let's see how uh, amazing the first line did. It, it was all our first line, all right? Even there in the finals there, uh, Datsuk and Backstrom were still getting assists. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. These guys can be a point-of-game players, absolutely. All right, Datsuk, 29 points in 22 games. Backstrom, 29 points in 22 games. Ovechkin, 28 points in 22 games. That's what I'm talking about. Louis Erickson, 9. Uh, Ribeiro, 9. Zach Hamill, 7. Chimera, 4. Hendricks, 4. Vermette, 4. Malhotra, 3. Howes, 3. Johansson, 3. I think this guy's got to get traded. Uh, Stashney, 2, but he got injured. Remember, poor Paul Stashney. He didn't get to lift the cup, all right? But he's still... Big, uh, big reason why we won the cup. Defenseman, Alsner, Gardner, Carlson, 7-7-6, seven, seven, six, Johnson, 6, Schultz, and uh, Hillen, 2, and Stewart, 1. And then the man of the hour, Norbert Klein, 22 games played, every single game of the playoffs. Uh, hope he didn't even have to go in there for support. Goals against average, 1.49, outstanding, 16 wins, 4 losses, 2 overtime losses. Uh, save percentage of 94.79, Jesus, criminy, and uh, shutouts, 5, 3 in the finals as well, all right? So you could say Norbert Klein basically won that series for us with those three shutouts, all right? absolutely. freaking lutely So there you go, Washington. It only took us three years, but we were able to do it, all right? Finally, Alexander Ovechkin lifts the Stanley Cup, all right? There you go, Washington. I hope you. Uh, I hope I did you guys proud, but it's only the third year. Remember, we have at least six years, so another three years. So offseason's coming around, all right? It's not time to go on vacation. What should we do? Datsuk, do we trade Bill for the future, or do we try to repeat with this outstanding team, all right? I will put it to you guys. But for right now, for tonight, open that champagne, pop those beers, because it's time for a celebration.